Julian, I got an idea. Put your clinker out and do a clinkity clink. That'll be the new. That's the official start right there to the podcast. When you hear that, it means it's, it's game time. It's game time. Holy fuck, boys. I don't know if I can do this today. Why? Just fucked. I'm completely fucked today. Who fucked you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're being a, a bit of a dick. Ricky. I'm not Ricky. I'm uh, the man with the horse face. I'm the, the guest today. I can't handle him today, man. I can't handle oh, that just kind wait, of shit just today. Just wait now, Julian. What? So, man with the horse face. Yes. Where are you from? I'm from a farm. <laughs> from a, a farm. farm. <laughs> what kind of farm do you live on, sir? Uh, a horse farm. A horse farm. And what do you like to do there? What's your favorite hobbies when you're at the horse farm? I like prancing around and eating uh, grass and uh, just running. Okay. What's up with the hat? Oh, it's not a hat. This is my face. No, the hat. No, no but you're wearing a hat. It's a blue hat. With oh, it. yes. Uh, it's from my uh, my school. Oh, you go to horse school. Do you? Yes. What do they do? What do they teach at the horse school? <laughs> horse types of uh, things. Such as? Yeah, name me some horse types of things that you would do at the horse school. How to name your horses? They teach that to the horses, do they? <laughs> so that they can... Bang, have little horses and name them. What, what else do they do at the horse school? How to keep your coat shiny. Okay. And what's the trick to that? How do you keep your coat so shiny? You learn a special way of uh, licking, getting other horses to lick your coat and clean it for you. <laughs> nice. That's excellent. That's excellent stuff. <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta go. It's, uh, it was fun. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for being on today. That was the... God, the horse face. The horse face. That was a great guest. Hey, guys. Hey, Ricky. What's going Did on you guys now? start yet? What? Nothing. Did you, did you guys start yet? <laughs> I can't believe you're just, you're going to do this. Did I miss that guy? The horse face. Ricky. Holy fuck. You know We're that we know thing. that was you, don't you? No. Put a little bit more effort in it. You could have at least changed a shirt you or something. You thought you man. tracked us? You guys didn't know it was me. Ricky. I even made it. I mean, the guy had a pretty good horse thing. He was working on it for a while. Ricky. So what the fuck did we smoke today? What was that? <sighs> that was just straight up honey oil, but wow. And I must say, these are not fucking too bad. What? These little uh, things that we're not supposed to talk about. I'll put Just pick it up for a no, second. No, I'm not. I didn't see it. No, nope. would you please do I'll that? I'll put it up, but I'm covering it. There. This is what we used. Here. All right, let's start. Did you guys want to start the show now? We so already had one guest. Yeah. I forgot to do the intro, man. This well, is the Trailer Perp Boys podcast. Should I get the podcast. horse guy back in? It's coming out yet. I didn't say official this time. Sponsored by, well, this. Fuck. Okay, so we got to wait till it comes around again. Semi-professional, we voted Where did you get the motor? That's on a motor now? Yeah, man. It's pretty cool, huh? Where did you get the motor? Because I'm missing the fucking motor that I was going to put on my Lazy Susan. Because I was going to build one of these exact things. What, from that remote control car that was fucked? You weren't going to fix that, man. I just got to try to figure out how to speed it up a bit. Yeah, it's not great. It's kind of going, it's ticking like a clock. Well, it must be out of running out of batteries or something. Okay, yeah. it's, it's going to come around here for a sec. This is brought to you by... Oh, such, you timed it out so perfectly. Fuck off, bubs. Just, it just hit like a freight train there. Okay, there we go. Right there. What is it again? Trailer dash, dash, dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Trailer dash, park dash, boys dot. Say that fast three times. Oh, man. Trailer dash, park dash, boys. Trailer dash, park dash, boys. Dot, backstreetmerch.com. 
Sing it a bit more if you want, man. No, see, you're just trekking me. I'm just trying to have a good time here, boys. Fucked up. Well, don't even want to do this today. Other than the horse, man, this has been pretty lame so far, guys. Should we get him back? Well, you know what this is? This is a Super Party Games edition. Oh, yeah? Podcast Super Party Games edition. How does that work, bud? I'm going to rhyme off some classic party games. Okay. You ever hear the game, If You Could Have? That's when I invented. If You Could Have? Uh, yeah. All right. So you just pick a different thing, you know, each time you play. So okay. we can just pick like Pops. a... And you invented this game? Yes. It's been around forever, man. Ever since it's been a lottery, this, this game's been going on. No. It's just basically, if you win the lottery, different. what do you want? Right? It's basically the same fucking thing. No, it thing. isn't. No, it it's isn't. It's totally the same thing. Because there's things you can get without... Or just because you won the lottery doesn't mean you can have... Air. Okay, if you could have a fucking superpower. Could you have that if you won the lottery? Okay, no, so what are you saying? If you could have a superpower, you're wondering what it would be? Yes. And then you discuss. Well, obviously. Yourselves. See, that's complicated because you're going to pick flying. It'd be fucking cool to fly. But what if you could trade in flying for like three? Like you could run 55 mile an hour, maybe walk on water and fart on demand or something like that. Fart on demand? That'd be like a, that's not considered a superpower, man. So you would trade in flying to be able to run 55 miles an hour, walk on water, and fart on command. Well, I'm just saying, you'd have to really think about it, wouldn't you? I don't think you would, Ricky. You wouldn't trade in flying for that. <coughs> well, fucking running 55 miles an hour would be cool. And Leave a, a big stink of, trail behind you. No, you're in a room full of people that are fucking pissing you off and just, just start dropping bombs. Little bomb you do that it. anyway. It's I know, but then you could do it more. It's not even a superpower, Recky. Well, some of them are. <laughs> um, okay, what would you guys have? What would you be, Julian? What? I if you could have a superpower, know. what would it be? Besides yeah. incredible strength, which you already have. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd be... Okay, what if the superpower was... was uh, I could the have every... <laughs> Fuck off, Buffs. All right, I'm the not playing. Flex, I'm not playing, man. Flexes and his arms blow everything Pass. in the room up. I'm passing. His biceps just destroy everything in the room. And light bolts come out of them. I knew you guys get fucking carried away with this shit. Out of the game. Not playing. What about a machine gun penis? Why? I don't know. What does it shoot, <laughs> Ricky? <laughs> Whatever you want to, I guess. But Yeah, you could take that in a bunch of different ways. <laughs> Like a machine I'm, gun. I want to hear what yours would be. No, man. I've told you. Why? Because no. you got mad because we said the mega flax. No, you, you're going to keep on going. It's, no, no. You could shoot super glue. What so, could? This machine gun penis. So it would look like. What would your name be? If you were a superhero, what would your name be if you had a machine gun penis? MGP? It's not bad. Super gun, gun. Super gun. Super gun. <laughs> super gun. Holy fuck, here comes super gun. Everybody dock. He's blasting us with... You better get out your umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a fucked up superpower, Ricky. Yeah. Shoot hot clues <laughs> with a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, Bubs? Or what would you have? Well, I never really thought about it. I was more thinking about inventing the game. I wasn't actually thinking about playing it. Hmm. But I mean, if I was going to do it, you know, I would probably be, you know, fly at the speed of light. Okay. That's, That's a great, nobody has that superpower. I don't think Fly so. at the fucking speed of light. You could fly up and meet the tall whites or anybody you wanted to up in the, you know, space. Yeah, they just discovered a bunch of new planets, didn't they? Is that what you're telling me? Who did? I thought you told me they discovered like 1,400 planets or some shit. I didn't tell you that, Rick. Ah, oh, fuck, I dreamt that, I guess. Flying at the speed of light, I don't even Wait think... Wait a second, I don't you even had think a dream is, that uh, you discovered 1,400 new planets? Maybe. Do you remember what any of them were called? No. But I think there was... 
possible life or po potentiality for life or something like that. So it's kind of cool if it's a true dream. If it's a true dream. <laughs> that's so fucked. I think flying at the speed of light would be the I don't think that's even a superpower, though, is it? Well, it would be. Nobody can do it. Seeing through clothes would be cool. X-ray vision, yeah. Well, there's been that. People have had X-ray vision. What about that stretch plastic, oh man, or whatever the fuck? Like Stretch Armstrong. Yeah. Like right now, if I wanted to throw that fucking Plinko game across the room, I could just go... <laughs> Stretch plastic, old man. Wasn't he a super, super guy? Ricky, that's a, but everybody, there's been lots of superpowers where you can, you know, okay, so extend your arm. Fly even speed Inspector light. Gadget can do that for fuck's sake. Fly the speed of light, even machine super. gun penis, super glue. To be invincible, that'd be something pretty cool. Nothing could fuck with you. Like nothing. Until ultra not invincible man comes at you, who's even more invincible than you are. See, why would you fucking ruin it, Mom? Like, you didn't have to ruin it, man. Like, Mr. Invincible is a, is a good fucking... My name power. would be the super fast floaty fart man. Fuck. We should, we should make a comic book then, Ricky. You could draw it, you're good at drawing. The Adventures of Super Fast Floaty Fart Man, Machine Gun, Glue Penis. <laughs> And what are you? <laughs> What's he saying, huh? That's the comic book he wants to write. What's it called? I don't know. Dude. It's a long title. You gotta pay attention. Things can't get repeated on here because. All right, I like that game. That was fun. We should play that once in a while. I think that's a great game. You know what another game I invented is? Two truths and a lie. Oh yeah? Ricky, so you tell, if you tell three things about yourself, but make two of them lies. Okay. Only one of them's true, then we gotta guess. You know, which one's the true. That's a good game, don't you think? Sounds like lots of fun, bubs. Okay. Well, it's more fun than sitting here watching that fucking you thing. You gotta figure around. out which one's true? You try. Yeah, so you tell three things about yourself, two of them are not true. All right. I'm not wearing any underwear. Um, sorry, how many are true? Just one? Just one true and two lies. I'm not wearing any under underwear. Uh, you came up with that awful quick. Like you didn't even have to think about I've that, got, so I'm guessing that's the non-lie. Non -lie. I've got a, a bloody sock on that's on top of a broken toe. And... I've got three Easter eggs in my pocket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, this is a fucking great game. Um, I'm guessing. Let's rule out, okay, the obvious. He doesn't, what was, I forget. They were, he's not wearing any underwear. He's got a bloody sock on, <laughs> on top of him, which is broken okay, tall. That's a tough one, okay. And he's got three Easter eggs in his pocket. Any of those could be true, but only one is. He definitely doesn't have three Easter eggs in his pocket. Okay, so we'll eliminate. But he could, right? He could have got fake. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> See that? <laughs> Best <Wow>. game ever. <laughs> okay. That it's like I knew we were going to play or something. Well, wait I did. a second, Ricky. You don't have underwear on. Well, shit. So there's two that are. See, I fucked it up. Do you have a bloody sock on? No. You don't? Are you I sure? did last week. That's where that one came from. Okay, well now the game's called Two Truths, Two Truths and a Lie. And then right. it works. Do you guys want an Easter egg? They're fucking delicious. Where did you get them, Ricky? Easter candy. Yeah, but Easter, how long ago was fucking Easter? I'm pretty sure it wasn't that long ago, was it? What month is this? It's May. It's May. What month is Easter in? April. Or fuck, this no, this year it was in February. It's been a while, Ricky. You got March and April in there. Well, should I try it first? It's pretty fucking good. Oh, that was fucking delicious. Sorry, Mo. Didn't mean to take your Easter candy, bud. 
This is Moe's. He took Moe's Easter candy on him. Wait, is, why would fucking Moe have Easter candy? Who gives babies chocolate? Good parents. Ricky, you're not feeding Mo chocolate, are you? Yes, because you should give kids as much fucking candy as you can before their teeth fall out. And then once their teeth fall out, you try to scale it back or... You know what I mean? So the, the baby teeth, they don't matter. Fuck them. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but gotta, Ricky... You gotta, like, teach him how like, to brush his teeth. That's what... It's your duty. But Ricky, man. just because you know his teeth are gonna fall out, that doesn't give you a license to, you know, drill. Pounds and pounds of sugar into the poor baby. Well, it's a good time to do it if you're gonna do it. You don't want to fuck up their older teeth. That's when no, it really start right. brushing. Give them diabetes and they're fucking kids though. They're having a good time. You shouldn't be wasting time brushing fucking teeth. They're gonna fall out anyway. I had no idea you were drilling chocolate and sweets into Mo because you knew his teeth were gonna fall out eventually. It's gonna stop. It's coming to an end, man. That's that's kind of fucked. Sorry, guys. What were we talking about? Um, I just blocked out there for a second. I did too. <laughs> I don't remember what we were talking about. Were we talking about the jerk shirt? No, we <laughs> no, haven't man. talked about the jerk shirt yet. Uh. <laughs> you were telling me about this. Is it real? Did you look it up? Yeah, he's got it. I'm gonna get one for Julian. What? <laughs> Give one to me. Why? Explain to people what the jerk shirt is, Rick. Apparently, it's this shirt you could buy that has a pathetic hand on one sleeve, different colors. You know what that is, right? It's like a fake hand. Yeah. On one sleeve, so that your real arm goes down inside the shirt, and it's a long shirt, and it's got like this splash guard and shit, and you can just do your business wherever you want, and people just think, oh, fuck it. No, he's not doing it. Yeah, but Ricky, like, it's got to be a joke. You'd think people aren't going to notice, you know, your front of your pants going in and out for no apparent reason because both your hands are dangling at your sides. Well, I just thought Julian could use one. He does that more than any of us. No, I don't. You're always jacking off, Ricky. What the fuck are you talking about? You're the one that looked this site up. It's It actually exists, man. The jerk shirt. The jerk shirt. Told you. God. You can get the hand in any color you want, too. Yeah, they've got light beige. But be careful, you should dark. get, you, should, you want to get one that was probably close to your your color, I guess. Oh, no kidding. Because then it would be more why, why would you, who would buy this fucking thing? Ricky, you wouldn't buy one with like a black person's hand on it and expect that you're going to trick people. It would be funny though, wouldn't it? It would be. I'd love to have one black hand. <laughs> That'd be cool. Jerk shirt. <laughs> The jerk shirt. Would you use the jerk shirt? I wouldn't even fucking wear the jerk shirt. What no. about you, Rick? The jerk shirt. No. Would you give her a try? No, you want to. No. I, see, I don't. I don't understand. Ricky, I mean, you don't got to order one. I can build you a fucking shirt. We go down to the mall, get a you know, you know cheap what? shirt, and we cut the hand off a mannequin. They would make more in. money because the problem with the jerk shirt is, if you, you know, you're still going to see the shirt moving in that area, right? That's what I'm saying. It's going to look make, like your wings. They should change the name to the. The fingering shirt for women, because it's more subtle. Or you, you don't wear one of these things and you just go jack off in the bathroom or something. Like, this is fucked. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go grocery shopping, but I'm going to get a batch off as I'm doing it. No one's going to see me do it. Like, that's this is, a, this is the most fucking ridiculous idea I've ever seen in my life. You want one? Though, I'm right? going to be fucking nervous walking around the grocery store now. Oh, I'm going to yeah. be watching everybody's, you know, watching their... Area to see. Looking at their hands, trying to see if one of them's real and one of them's not. <laughs> it's, it's pretty creepy, man. The other problem is if you saw someone that did have a real pre, pre, uh, th one of those hands, it was real, and you'd be like, oh, you're wearing a jerk shirt, aren't you? And then you'd, you'd probably be offended. <laughs> yeah, you could fuck up. Yeah, yeah. That's... yeah, you go up there and try to pull his sleeve down, and his real fake arm comes off. Then you'd know it. Then you'd be in a pickle, as they say. Why do they say that? Like, who the fuck climbs in a pickle? Is it when they're scared? Or? <laughs> they don't actually climb into a pickle, Ricky. They're in a pickle. That's a good question, though. Where does that come from? You're, you're in an awful pickle now. I'll look it up. It, I think it started with baseball, didn't it? When you're, you know, you're trapped between two guys and they're throwing the ball back and forth. 
You're in a pickle then, I know. So they used to play with pickles before the ball? <laughs> That's not what it's called, is it? They did, I believe. Before the baseball was invented, I believe they used pickles. Pickleball, I've heard of it. <laughs> I've played pickleball, who hasn't? I mean, it's not very good. It's not a very good item to hit with a baseball bat, though. She comes apart no. pretty quick. No, yeah. quite a spin on her, it'd be hard to catch. What are you looking up now? I'm in a pickle. Oh, yeah, right. It could have been, maybe it was a giant pickle. When you got in trouble, you go to the pickle. Your parents would lock in a big giant pickle. Frankie, how many people do you think own own giant pickles big enough to house a small child? I mean, that would be a world record size pickle because it comes from a cucumber. Maybe they've got big pumpkins. You can get inside them and put outboards on them and shit. They do have pumpkin boat races. Pickle rooms. Pickle pods. Yeah, I'm glad they don't have those in jail instead of going to, you know, isolation. What are you guys talking about? <coughs> Pickle pods? I'm trying to look something up. You guys are going on about what, living in a pickle? Yeah, if you, if you had a bunch of plastic, big plastic pickles that you could take power naps in and you had a little place at the airport called the Pickle Pod Patch, where you go in and you pay a couple bucks and you get in this big, relaxing pickle. That'd be a hit. That's a good idea, because you could probably sell all the insides of the pickle that you dug out of there to pickle people. Well, they're not going to use well, a real pickle. What real pickle, Ricky? I'm talking about what? Making uh, them out of plastic and making them look like pickles. Oh, okay. <laughs> How big do you think pickles are, man? How big do you think they can grow? You can, you can get someone them. to grow your big pickles if you needed them. Like, how big do you think? Ricky, if I need a fucking giant pickle for some reason, who do I call? Like a big 10-footer. <laughs> do you know anybody that would have the capabilities of making and growing me a 10-foot pickle? Probably the guys that do the pumpkins and the tomatoes that are the size of basketballs. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Ricky, you saw this in a fucking movie. <laughs> All right, I mean, they... I, that's a good. That's a good thing to think about right now. You, you've got these giant pumpkins. Why can't you make giant pickles? Like, what's the deal? Well, you probably can make giant cucumbers. Well, why the fuck is even if you could, you're not going to turn it into a pickle. Got the fucking thing, and then try to sell it to people to sleep in. I mean, it's got to be a. It would have to be a plastic one. You couldn't get somebody to climb into a, a real pickle at the airport. Giant. Wow, oh, that fucking honey oil is pretty interesting. Speaking of penises. Yes, Rick. Just wait. <laughs> we weren't speaking of penises all. Well, same shape, I guess. <laughs> we were talking about pickles. Nobody even mentioned the word penis. I know, I was thinking about the shape. And uh you can you use your penis to unlock your uh, your cell phone now, I guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck, Rick? <laughs> I guess the new cell phones you can use like a thumbprint or something. You can actually yes, you can. put the tip of your your unit on there and it'll recognize it. <laughs> but why would you do that? What if you were in a rush? Or you were taking a piss and you had to get on the phone. <laughs> it's major problems with it, man. <laughs> and then if someone wanted to borrow your phone, like Think about it. <laughs> Ricky, if you're at the bank and, you know, you got to check your messages or something, what are you going to do? You, you, maybe if you got the jerk shirt, yeah, yeah. you get your hand on there, All right, but open your phone with your penis. Suppose you get kidnapped and you got your fucking arms handcuffed behind your back and your phone's on the ground. Then you'd have a way to unlock it and call the cops. <laughs> Ricky, but you still got to get your penis out of your pants yeah. and oh, I can do get that. it lined tied up. up. You can get yours out, can you, without using your hands? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't believe you, man. Just got to make it think. It finds its way like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, I can't get it back. Ricky, how? <clears throat> this one's not going to help. <laughs> oh, God. What? What's up next, Rick? <sighs> Yeah.
reading here? Which one am I reading? <laughs> Which one am I reading? This one? I just wrote this down because when I read it, it sounded so fucked. <laughs> I can't read that, Ricky. <laughs> what a fucking headline. All right. This is a headline? Yes. There was a Thai lady boy named Sexy Pancake. <laughs> He had a penis amputation to stop the spread of cancer. Oh, and he died. Yeah, I, I should be laughing. Oh, I'm, not tr I'm not trying to laugh. I feel bad for, oh. for Sexy Pancake, but <laughs> when I read it, I was just What's a little Sexy surprised. Pancake? That's his, sexy name. Pancake's That's his name. name. <laughs> oh, he was a Thai he? lady boy named Sexy Pancake, and he got penis cancer. And he actually what? then became a lady in a way because he got his penis removed, and three days later he died, I guess. So that's sad. Uh, oh, poor Sexy Pancake. I know. Would have liked to have met him. <laughs> what do you mean you would have liked to have met him? I guess he was quite famous. But what... Uh, what would you... If you got to hang out with Sexy Pancake for a day... Well, I'd like to meet any celebrity, right? <laughs> Sexy <laughs> Pancake was a celebrity? I guess, yeah. Wow. Well, not really, Ricky. I mean, do you think? Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, Sexy Pancake. <laughs> doesn't really... Something doesn't add up there. Okay, we got through it. All right, we... I feel yeah. good. Oh, my God. What else? Look, this is all written upside down. Oh, no, the paper's just upside down. Holy. Well, we could do one more, since we've got a theme going here. We got this, uh... What the fuck is that? It's a frog with a giant penis. Oh, I saw this. I saw this. I'll get them to put a picture up of it. Look at that. It's a frog, and he was born with an un, unfinished third leg. But that's the way it grew in, and that's what it looked like. So that's a leg. That's a leg. It looks like a man with a pretty hefty unit just squatting down. That's his belly button there. So maybe it's just it one of those like trick, a frog, it's a trick picture. Maybe. It's not a trick one. It's a... Good for him if it's real. Wow. Just wait oh, a second, it's a Ricky. Leg. Is, that a f <laughs> Is that a trick? I don't know. Oh, my God. If that's a trick and we're just staring at some fella's... <laughs> <laughs> Big unit, I'm gonna be really not happy. It's a frog man. A frog man? Well, it's, it's a frog, Bubbles. That's a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, where did you, where are you finding that stuff? I don't even remember where that came from. That's probably the same place this came from where they performed the first penis transplant in the US. It's were really, you, you must it's have been just penis Googling penises, theme. were you? Remember I showed you how to type the word into the Google searcher? Yeah. You clearly typed in the word penis. I think I put weird penis things or something, and a bunch of weird penis things came up. Well, it would. That's how Google works. I know, but I didn't know it was that good. Google? Yeah. No, it's good, Ricky. Like, you can find anything. Well, if I can use it... What else did you try searching? Do you remember? Uh, no. Well, guess what? There's a search history. And we're going to check it out. Okay, well, I don't know. Can, is there a way to erase that? Or? No. There is. There is, but I'm not sure <coughs> you, not that we read it. <laughs> but if you the computer br broke accidentally all of a sudden, you wouldn't be able to pull any of that up, would you? Ricky, if you smash my computer to hide your fucking weird search history, I'm going to be not happy. It wasn't that weird. You might as well just tell us now. For the next podcast, we should get his computer and go through the history. It's read. my computer. Oh, is it? Well, yeah. fuck, let's do that next podcast, man. That'd be do what? No, no, no. That would, it's you might as well else. just tell us what you were searching now, Ricky. Everybody knows you searched weird penis things. I put in, I think it was monkey tricks or something like that, and some really fucking weird shit came up. I didn't look at much of it, though. And Monkey tricks? Why were you searching monkey tricks in the first place? I thought maybe it would just be, you know, cute little monkeys doing cute little monkey things, but no. It wasn't what were they doing? I think it was monkey things. It was monkey something, and it was fucked. <laughs> monkey things. Put, put that in, see what happens. I don't think anything will come up. So this guy things. actually had a penis transplant. I didn't really read it, but... Yeah, he did. But why? I think he got... He was not happy with the size of it, or... No, Ricky, he got injured, like he lost... Oh, fuck, okay. I mean, I if you lost your penis, you 
definitely would want another one, I guess. They're pretty handy to have. <laughs> they're yeah, good, they're handy. They're a good time. They're handy to have. I believe this guy. Oh, you know, he did. An argument he lost and... most of his penis several years ago to, to uh, cancer. Oh, that's a different guy than I read about. So do they rip off the part that was left, or do they just add to it, I wonder? Well, Ricky, I'm sure they, you know, I'm sure they smooth it out first, you know, get a nice, yeah, fresh playing field. Big, you wouldn't want a big seam. <laughs> no, no you just wouldn't want a the big... whole thing off and just stitch it I'd on. I'd say right? they, they must have got rid of the rest and just started from scratch. I would say they made him, they gave him like a smooth can bump to start, mm -hmm. right? And then... I hope they gave him a good one. I mean, if you're getting a new one, you should get to pick what it is. They would have gave him a can bump for sure. You know what a can bump is, don't you? What the fuck is this? Yeah, just... Scientists say they found the secret to better poop transplants. What? I don't know. Maybe this is not part of the penis story. I hope it's not. Anyway. Well, thanks, Ricky. Sorry Thank I trailed you. off again. No, I think it's fantastic, Ricky. Got any other relevant penis stories? We could talk about a non-penis story, I guess. A non-penis story. I know, to let Julian... Julian said he wanted to be the, the most penis talk of any podcast today. I think we did that. Okay, there's this cat woman down in the state somewhere, I think. She's got 1,100 cats living in her fucking home. Oh, Linnea Latanzio. Who? Linnea Latanzio. That's who it is. Holy fuck, man. You know this person? Yes, right Linnea Latanzio. She's got... Always has at least, you know, 1,000, 1,100 kitties kicking around. I know exactly who she is. In her house? She actually had to move out of the house, too many kitties, moved into the rental house on the property, so now the kitties have the big house. They got a whole fucking house themselves. There's 1,100 of them, Rick. Holy That's shit. it. That's a heap of kitties. I've taken in and lived with 28,000 cats. Oh my fuck. No, that's a See, cat she's lover. a legend. That's fucking crazy. She's a legend. See, she's, like at, she's at the top, like number 10, and the cat lovers, you know. Number 10? You're like number probably five compared to her. No, she's, she's got a lot more kitty experience than I do. I mean, I look after her, you know, any given time. I've got 60 to 100, but I've never had 1,100 kitties living with me at once. I bet you wish you did. I do. I mean, if I owned a great big house like that, I'd have at least 1,100 kitties. Oh, yeah, she's got like 12 acres of land, man. I know, it's she's all like their free-range kitty kitties. She started the free-range kitties. She's got it all fenced in. If a fellow 12 was... 12 acres. If a fellow was going to acquire a large number of cats, what do you think someone like yourself or Leffentanzia Lef would pay for a cat, per cat? I don't know. What are you even asking me that for? You got some kind of a greasy scam cooking up in your head there, revolving around kitties, and I'm not having any part of that. Would you buy a used kitty? I, of course I would buy a used kitty. Used kitties are the best kind of kitties. Even if it was stolen? Ricky, don't be stealing people's kitties. Steal their lawnmowers. What are you thinking? All right. I guess I'm what are you it. getting them fired up for? You don't need to know what he's thinking what about you, stealing well, there's kitties. There's some cats out there that are like 3,000 bucks, man. That's what I was thinking, if you get some high-end cats. Yeah, and guess what? The person that owns them paid $3,000 for them, so it's their kitty. But what if they're dicks? Well, that's different. If they're being a dick to the kitty, then I well, have no just, problem. They just want to have them. this expensive cat just say, ooh, look at my expensive cat. But they're not loving it. So then people like us should steal them. <sighs> right? All right. Yeah, that joint's wearing off. I think it's fucking time. I need to have a nap. to go. I'm fucked. Like... All right. All right, wind her up. Next time we won't get it as high, maybe. They won't, anyway. What does that mean? Yeah. Maybe it hasn't worn off. No, it's still here, man. It's just coming to waves now. This stuff's pretty good. You okay, boss? Yeah. How many of those games you got, Julian? How many of those games you got, Julian? What games? Those, uh, Trinko games. Uh, this is just... Just one? Just one. Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, Julian. Why would you do that? I thought it would break. All right. Did it fuck up? To... 
I'll have to get another shot glass, but yeah, that you fucked it up. Fucks. Wrecking, we gotta get you out of here. You're gonna start right. smashing shit. Okay, guys. All right, you owe me a shot glass. You owe me a lot more than that. Join us next like, time. one of the D's there? Join us next time when the guest is Mega Flax. Fuck off, Bubs. Make sure he gets one of these shot glasses, please, with a D on it.